it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the glitch transition in After Effects. Before we start the tutorial I recently launched a new editing pack called the TV Glitch Pack V3 and I think it looks super cool and if you guys want to check it out I have a discount code for you guys it's going to be Pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars but uh, let's get right into the tutorial here. So I have two clips in here of Travis Scott I'm going to be showing the transition on and uh, I'm basically going to start off by making a adjustment layer, so I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y and here I'm going to make the adjustment layer 20 frames in width and after that you're going to be making a marking in the middle here by pressing the start key and the first effect we're going to be adding is from a plugin called Sapphire and the effect there is called JPEG Damage and here in the beginning we're going to be keyframing the rest factor and the quality we're going to set the quality to 1 and after that go to the middle at the transition point set the rest factor to around 25 and the quality to 0.01 after that go to the ending and set it back to the default we had before so 1 in rest factor and then 1 in quality so now it looks something like this here Already this looks pretty pretty cool in my opinion, but we're going to be opening up the adjustment layer here, effects, jpeg damage, and then mark all the keyframes and press f9, and we're going to be changing the graph for the quality keyframes here. So mark a keyframe, open up the graph, and we're going to make it sharp, drag these two in, something like this here is going to look like. After that, the next effect we're going to be adding is called wave warp, and here I'm going to change the wave type to smooth noise. And then I'm going to set the direction to 0, so the noise effect here is going to be horizontal instead. I'm going to set the wave speed to 10, and then we're going to keyframe the wave height. So click the clock here, set the wave height to 0, go to the middle, set the wave height to 500, then go to the ending, set it to 0 again. Open up the layer here, wave warp, mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph. And here we're going to make the exact same graph as before, sharp, just like this here. And you guys might notice we get these uh, black parts here and that's because there's no more footage to use for the effect here. And how to fix that is basically by adding a, another effect called motion tile. And we're going to be dragging this effect on top of the others. And we're going to check mirror edges and then increase the output height and output width. I'm gonna go 150. And this is how the transition looks. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool here. Pretty fast, clean glitch transition you can use for your music videos. And as I said in the beginning, I recently launched a new editing pack called the TV Glitch Pack V3. And I'm going to be adding an effect here that's going to make the whole transition and the clips here blend a lot more together. So Ctrl Alt Y. And for those who have the pack, you're going to be adding the TV Glitch V3 effect 4. And this is how it's going to look here. I think it looks super, super cool in my opinion. And everything just blends so great together. And if you guys want to check out the pack, the discount code is going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. And yeah, that was the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. Don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram, where we upload edits and stuff like that. And uh, don't forget to check out our website, editingvisual.com, where we have editing packs that's really going to elevate your editing game. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.